we can get this virus under control. If we don't, we could sleepwalk into a long and bleak winter. That choice is now for the Prime Minister to make. I urge him to do so. There are differing opinions in Westminster about how to tackle the second wave of coronavirus, but one thing that is being agreed on is the effects winter could have on the number of fatalities. The government's new three-tier system has received both praise and criticism, with some asking for a circuit breaker lockdown and some requesting more financial support for businesses. Following the swift action taken to place Merseyside under Tier 3 restrictions, London will now move from the medium to the high tier from Saturday. No matter how much some people want to pretend otherwise and bury their heads in the sand, the truth is that the health crisis and the economic crisis are inextricably linked. That's why getting the virus under control is the only way we can both protect lives and our economy. They're simply no other option. I must warn Londoners that we've got a difficult winter ahead. Despite the criticism from the opposition, the Prime Minister has defended the new system and called for unity in the House of Commons, as the government looks to strike a balance between the health of the country and the economy. Uh, we, on, uh, by contrast, Mr Speaker, are working with those local leaders to put in the measures that will protect their populations, protect the NHS, keep our economy moving and drive the virus down. That is our collective endeavour and I strongly urge him to work out where he stands, to stop flip-flopping from one side to the next, uh, or rather to go back to his previous position, which was support for restrictive measures where necessary to drive the virus down.